Is it as a capital? We can lower the spread of case numbers and the storage for And this is the first group I've had in a very long time. In fact, the only full group I've seen do this, where you have somebody presenting and they've talked somebody into actually navigating the sites. It certainly makes it a little bit oh, easier, I think, for the presenter. So. So oh, nice. We'll see how it works. Out. Whatever works. That's very good. Whenever you're ready. All right, my name is Tyler Lynch. Uh, before I came to Centric, I was doing freelance computer work. I was in the repair, maintenance, uh, networking. I did a lot of uh, basic websites for gaming communities, just forums and whatever they wanted. Um, went to a car show that I've been going to for five years. And one of the guys there works at Procter & Gamble. And he is actually a Centric graduate. And he told me about the crack. Told me I would like it. Uh, he did the network side. I came here and took the test and decided to go the programming route because I had taken some C sharp or C plus plus classes in high school and really enjoyed that. Um, first page here is my actual home page. Uh, I did quite a bit of work in this. Uh, if you want to go ahead and log in, I have. View state, so when you log in, you will see a manage content link yeah. up next to home, projects, resume, and contact. You will have to bear with me for a moment because this is probably the biggest password I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you better type this for I just literally 10 digits. to a page where there's just a drop down list but if you click in that everything in there I can edit programmatically I have literals and labels throughout my website so if you want to click one of those resume page and if there's a post back it comes up with a resizable window and it's got HTML editing I can programmatically change what my resume says. I don't have my actual resume on there, but if you want to email me at tlanch.net slash contact, I can send one. It's all formatted with HTML markup. I can change header text, subheader text. And then Mark's going to do it. Do the header text. Uh, Main header text. Where? Oh, right there. In the drop down list? Yeah. So tlinch.net, you can change that to whatever you want. So you can change it that way. Be nice. Mm -hmm. Click update. And I go back to the home page. And now it says Bob Labs. Okay, I'll go to projects and Java Finder. And this is my job finder. I have a summary of the project which shows basic requirements that we have to do. Companies page, job postings page, contacts, but you've seen all that through Wong's site. Go ahead and uh, log in there. Mm -hmm. Same login. Right. Password. When you log in, you get a quick navigation option where you can add a company, add a job posting, add a contact, or add a communication based on things that already exist in the database. If you're adding a contact, it'll show their name and the company they're with. Uh, I concatenated that with SQL. Uh, you want to click Add Company? It sends a query string with mode equals insert. And I have that, so if the user is not an admin and they enter that, it just goes to the company's page. 
so there's security in that as well. But go ahead and click on companies. That's my company's page. Uh, the company is active. It displays there. I have a uh, validation control, or a regular expression validator, where I can have text, because I know some phone numbers, they do 1-800 Best Buy or whatever. They can do that in this, and it will still be valid. Uh, you want to click Google at the top. Bring to YouTube the company page for Google. It's supposed to have rounded corners, but he opened it in Internet Explorer instead of Chrome, so it does not have rounded corners. <laughs> wow! But those corners would be rounded. Um, you view jobs for the company. I don't have it like one where it doesn't show up. Yeah. I have a job for Google. But if you go to companies and click A and D, there are no jobs for A and D that are currently active. So it will say there are no jobs available for this company. Or no active. But if you want to show inactive, there would be jobs for A and D and every other company that has inactive jobs. Um, I put different levels of inactivity. I'm not interested. Company's not interested in me for whatever reason. I'm not qualified for the position. Uh, I still have test companies in there because I was thoroughly testing it to make sure it would work. Because when you upload, you never know what actually happens. You have job postings. But before we get to that, let me go ahead and show how to add a company. Company ID is automatically generated. Industry, you have a drop down list. You can pick what industry you want. Address, all one line. City. validators on all of these, so if he had had an uh, extra digit in the phone number, it wouldn't accept it. If he had a plus one for country code, it would not accept it, because the required the regular expression validator I used did not support that. But if you do one dash area code, then it just doesn't like the plus. So, but you can still do country codes. Uh, the website has to be a fully qualified website with HTTP or HTTPS. The company is active. Go ahead and insert without a logo. Insert without a logo? Yep. Now find that company. It should be on page two, or you can select my company. But if there is no image inserted, I have a default logo. It says insert logo here. So go ahead and edit and we'll insert a logo. job postings I have that I'm currently interested in. If you show inactive job postings, again, it'll just show inactive and there are different statuses for inactive uh, contacts. Uh, I have 
have contacts by company in here. If you select, you go to edit. Which one? There is the country code that I have, so it does support that. Uh, it's got the company they work for, you can change what company they're in. Okay. Notes. Uh, cancel that and go to communications. Select. Now, job title. Engineer at Intel. Obviously, I'm not qualified for that. But I don't do network or anything. I'm a programmer. But it's got really just in it car facts for the contacts. So we're going to edit that to the Intel guy. You'll have to click Data Communication. Because the, the regular expression validator I chose does not like the 12 a.m. on there, so pick any date. And we'll wipe that out. Then you can update that. And then if you select it again, it shows the full day and date. Uh, go back to home. You probably noticed I have. Down at the very bottom, I have W3C XHTML 1.0 and W3C CSS. If you click either of those, it will bring you to a page which will validate my website, and it's successfully validated with XHTML and CSS. Are there any questions or comments? I like most of that. Through this process, I enjoy the database the most. Um, I like doing data, I like dealing with data. I'm a very organized person for the most part. Um, it's interesting to see, ask questions like, will they ever do something and be able to plan for that in the future if they ever do decide they want more functionality out of the database? You can normalize it that way. All right, so with this being, being done, you guys, of course, moving on to certification prep. But what's, uh, what's next for you, code-wise? Um, Any other projects you're working on? Actually, I have a project I'm working on for a client right now. She wants a, she owns a collectibles shop out on 40 Highway. And she sells Hummels and things like that. She wants it to do her inventory management as well as be able to sell things through the website. So it's going to have a shopping cart. Uh, support PayPal. Uh, if she sells over a certain number on it, like a certain amount, uh, say over $300, has free shipping. There's going to be some code for that. And I'm also uh, actually working on a project with Wild Goose Labs, which will be revealed later. <laughs> Oh, it's already out of Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's good. It's good. It's a taste. like that. I have a question, Tyler. Yes. Why wouldn't the time on your uh, date work? Because in the grid view, I have it set to show long date format, but my regular expression validator only checks for short date format. So I have to redo the regular expression validator to support the time as well. Which time of day could be useful? If you want to know multiple communications in a day, you might have that. All right, we're good. Thanks. Very good. Yeah. Yeah.